Hey there, if you're looking to sell your house in the next 12 months and want to maximize its potential, this video is for you. There are a lot of things that people need to do before putting their house on the market and a big one is staging to get your home ready for photos, videos and showings. And as I have helped my clients in the past, I'm going to dive deep into the world of staging, giving you all the pro tips and tricks so that you can make your place look like a million bucks without breaking the bank. I'm going to give you the lowdown on the five main rooms in your house and how to prepare them for staging. So what is home staging? Think of it as a magical marketing strategy designed to showcase your home's greatest qualities and attract buyers to fall in love with your home. It's like giving your home a makeover, both on the inside and out. We're talking about reorganizing furniture, adding a few key pieces here and there, and then also slimming down some personal items and doing whatever it takes to make your house look its absolute best. And we can do this by downplaying any imperfections and highlighting some wow factors. You're basically wrapping your house up in the prettiest package possible to attract interest, get better offers, and speed up the sale process, of course. Hey everyone, I'm Jade Lee Duffy, and my channel is all about selling homes in San Diego for first time home sellers, or if you haven't sold in a while, made simple. And make sure you stay to the end because I will take you on a quick sneak peek tour of my latest listing and how they have staged the home. Okay, let's get back to staging tips. When done right, home staging creates a cozy and welcoming vibe. It's like setting the stage for potential buyers, making them feel right at home so that they can have an emotional connection to your house. At the same time, not feeling like they're intruding into your home and into your personal space. But before we dive into each room, in a recent survey by the National Association of Realtors, they found that 23% of buyers and 23% of listing agents reported that selling a home that was staged increased its home value by one to 5% compared to other homes on the market that weren't staged. And if you're wondering in San Diego how much it costs to hire a professional staging company for a 2,000 square foot house, they start around $1,500 and up. Okay, let's start at the front door. Let's talk about how to jazz up the entryway because it's a total game changer when it comes to selling your house. Your entryway is like a welcome mat for potential buyers and first impressions count a lot. First off, let's make the entryway inviting. Think of setting a mood for a date night. You wouldn't want to wear some old sweatpants or a ripped t-shirt for your first date. The same goes for selling a home. Start by adding a potted plant or a vase of fresh flowers to make the transition from the outside to the end feel smooth and cozy and warm and inviting. And if you don't have a little table to add your fresh flowers or a potted plant, then get a big leafy plant that is taller and just put it in the entranceway. The focus here is to make your entrance and home inviting. Now, when it comes to entranceway furniture, make sure it fits the space just right. Nothing too big, nothing too small, and make sure not to overcrowd. Also, you could think about putting a small rug down and boom, you've got a defined space. Now moving on to the kitchen, I'm sure you know that this is the heart of the home and kitchens sell homes. You don't have to spend a fortune to make a big impact. Think of cost effective updates like new cabinet hardware or a fresh coat of paint on the cabinets, the wall or trim. It's kind of like giving your kitchen a makeover, but on a budget. First things first, a freshly remodeled kitchen is like catnip for buyers. And even if you're not doing a major reno, small changes can make a big difference. Start by decluttering like you're on a mission. Clear those countertops and give your big appliances some space. Hide away 90% of your kitchen gadgets in cabinets or store them someplace else and watch your kitchen instantly feel more inviting. Now let's talk about your cabinets. Freshen up with some paint and swap out the hardware. You could paint the cabinets yourself if you're up for the challenge or hire a professional. 
There are dozens and dozens of companies in San Diego that will resurface your kitchen or repaint the cabinets. And it probably won't take more than a week or two. And this will be like giving your kitchen a facelift without breaking the bank. And suddenly an outdated kitchen looks brand new. And remember when it comes to styling your kitchen, less is more. You don't want to overdo it and overwhelm potential buyers. A simple vase of fresh flowers or a neat stack of cookbooks can make your kitchen feel lived in and yet clean. And that's definitely a winning vibe that we're after. All right, moving on to the dining room. Whether you have a dedicated dining space or need to create one, I've got all the tips and tricks on how to make it shine and entice those buyers. Now, if you're lucky enough to have a dedicated dining room, you don't need to go all out with your finest china and crystal, but you do wanna make sure it feels inviting and a little informal too. First things first, make sure your dining table is squeaky clean no dust allowed throw on a table runner to tie everything together and you'll be on the right track now deep clean a like pro remove anything that doesn't belong in the dining room and i get it sometimes we end up piling things on the dining table or just around in the room but remember when it comes to selling your home and staging make sure that your dining table is clear we want potential buyers to picture themselves in your home, having a lavish dinner and parties in this space, not sorting through your paperwork. Now, if you don't have a dining room, don't worry. You can create a space in your kitchen. So a small table in your kitchen or just pull up some stools to the breakfast bar that will do the trick as well. And here's a pro tip for dining spaces that can take your home from meh to wow. Make sure your table and chairs fit the scale of the room, and then now it's time to accessorize. Think mirrors, large pieces of artwork, and set the table. That is, if you have a dedicated dining space, I would suggest adding chargers under the plates, but if it's a space in your kitchen, don't go overboard, just keep it simple. Now let's chat about the living room. This is a very important space, so make sure that it feels open as well as clean and cozy for your potential buyers. Make sure the blinds are open to let all the natural light in. And when it comes to furniture, make sure that if you have any oversized pieces that are hogging all the space, it might be time for them to take a little break. Don't go full on minimalist, but at the same time, you don't need to strip the room bare. Instead, think about introducing some stylish throw pillows. They can add a pop of color and help guide your buyers around the room, creating a pleasant visual flow. And for some other visual variety, add some healthy houseplants, not too many, just enough to give the room a sense of life and nature without turning it into a jungle. And don't forget about lighting. Warm and fashionable lighting can really brighten up a room. It can set the mood and make the space feel welcoming. A pro tip for the living room also is to think about the flow pattern. In this space, buyers want to feel like they're on a journey as they walk into the room and not just standing there at the door. So study the floor shape and the flow of the space and the focal point. This will help you position the furniture in a way that creates a perfect ambiance. Now moving on to the bedroom and whether you're going to spruce out one of the bedrooms or all of the bedrooms, obviously the main focus is going to be the primary bedroom. One of the first things to think about is the color and keeping it neutral. Think of a color palette that's kind of soothing and has a calming vibe. Neutrals are your best friend here with soft blues, whites, and taupes that reign supreme in a sleep-friendly space. So keep it serene. And when it comes to accessories, again, less is more, but the magic is warm lighting. It can really tie the room together and make it feel so inviting. Also a throw blanket draped over the bed can add just the right amount of cozy. And another pro tip is if you can help it, don't position a bed in front of a window. If you can, right opposite to the door, position the bed to a wall and above the bed, put a large artwork piece about two thirds the width 
of the bed. Now let's talk about bedding. Layer it up with luxurious sheets and decorative throw pillows. I think you can go and splash out for a new bedding set. It doesn't have to be expensive. You can pick a setup at Ikea, at Home Goods, or even Target. And don't forget the nightstands to complete the look with a current modern lamp and stylish shades. And if you have space, tuck a little chair into the corner with a small table to kind of set up a cozy reading nook. Or you can add a bench to the foot of the bed and that will create a little bit of charm to the room. So there you have it, five home staging tips room by room. And I'm sure you would agree that it's such a big difference with homes that are staged and homes that are not. And the price that sellers can get because of that, especially with picture perfect staging and how buyers can really envision themselves in your home. My name is Jade and I'm a realtor in San Diego and I do this all day, every day and help my sellers get the most money possible in the least amount of time with the least amount of hassle. And I would love to chat with you. Like I said, if you are looking to sell your home in the next 12 months, let's have an initial conversation so we can start and find out what's needed in the selling process, especially if it's been a minute or it's your first time. And we can just kind of have a general roadmap of how to prepare your home, what its potential net bottom line and what you can walk away with, the timeline is, and what's generally happening in the market. And if you found any value in this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and also hit the notification bell so you are notified the next time a new video comes out. And thank you for watching. We are at a property right now that has been staged, so I'm going to just take you through just a quick tour of the property and what the stager did with the furniture. This is actually my latest listing, so you can see what a wonderful polished look it has once the property is staged with professional furniture owners are living here so they ended up moving out all their furniture well all the main pieces and the staging company put in their pieces and as you can see we'll just take a look on how beautiful the house looks so when you come into the property on the left side here is the dining area so this is staged a dining table here as you can see so they've already set up the play settings for four. I mean, it looks just very inviting with the flowers and the wine glasses and chargers and plates and everything. And then over here is the living room and it just looks picture perfect. I think you could probably put it in a magazine here. So it's just all these little finishing touches just make it really inviting. And I like how the area rug just kind of centers this space here and then going on to the kitchen as you see there is still some items on the counters so here you've got a plant and a little tray for kind of a coffee station and then all the counter has been cleared except just for a few select items that just kind of center this kitchen area so as you can see here some olive oil and vinegar and just plants and so everything has been removed so it's very neutral here except for just a few key items and then as we just walk outside it's very inviting you've got a sofa set with a chair and you know we're ready to sit down on a hot summer day with some lemonade now going into one of the bedrooms, this furniture is actually, as you can see, it looks really nice, um, is the homeowners, but the stagers ended up using their bedding and throw blanket on top. So it just makes it a little bit more professional looking. And any surfaces here, as you can see, the counters, everything's been cleared except for one little plant and a painting, some artwork. So you wanna think about this when you're going through the house and just making sure that all your surfaces are clear and decluttered.